France Nyan, an enduring figure in the entertainment industry, has left an indelible mark through her contributions. What qualities make her a timeless symbol in Hollywood? Do you have a cherished memory connected to her work? Share your stories below as we would love to hear them. Stay tuned for some surprising, amusing, and poignant facts ahead. Keep watching for a journey through the captivating world of this classic Hollywood actor. Share your own experiences in the comments funny, shocking, or sentimental. The floor is yours. In the world of entertainment, one figure stands out for significant contributions and captivating performances, France Nyan. Born in 1939 in Marseille, she ventured into the realm of acting, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Her journey in the film and television landscape began in the 1950s, quickly becoming a noteworthy actress. Talent and charisma captured the audience's attention, making her a celebrated figure of her time. What sets her apart is not only acting prowess, but also the groundbreaking roles embraced, challenging the norms of her era. Notable performances include a role in the iconic film The World of Susie Wong, where the titular character is portrayed with depth and authenticity. The ability to bring characters to life, coupled with a captivating presence on screen, made her a respected and cherished actress of her generation. Beyond artistic achievements, Nyan played a significant role in breaking barriers for Asian actors in Hollywood. In a time when diversity was not widely embraced, she navigated the complexities of the industry, paving the way for future generations. In conclusion, her impact on the world of entertainment is undeniable. Talent, charisma, and groundbreaking roles make her a figure worth celebrating. As we explore her journey, we find a trailblazer who left an enduring legacy in the annals of history. France Nyan, the accomplished actress, has left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape through iconic roles and characters. In the world of film, she navigated diverse roles with skill, leaving an enduring legacy. One of her memorable roles was in the 1960 film The World of Suzy Wong, where she portrayed the titular character with captivating finesse. The enigmatic Suzy resonated with audiences, delivering the line, I'm a big girl now. I take care of myself, showcasing strength and independence. Another notable performance was in the 1963 film The Main Attraction, where she starred as the mysterious and alluring Carla. Her ability to embody complex characters was evident in Carla's multifaceted nature, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. The film is marked by a memorable quote as she declares, sometimes love is the only reason. Her contribution to the iconic Star Trek series is etched in history. In the episode Elan of Troyes, she portrayed the Princess Elan, a character of royal stature who undergoes a transformative journey. One memorable scene is when Elan defiantly states, I will not have your ugly hands on me, showcasing her character's strength and determination. In the 1970 film The Hawaiians, she once again showcased versatility as purity, a character entangled in the complexities of life in Hawaii during the 19th century. The film is marked by scenes that reveal the intricacies of her character's relationships and the challenges she faces. Her roles have left an enduring impact, with performances intricately etched into the minds of audiences. The ability to embody diverse roles, from enigmatic women to those facing complex challenges, cements her as a cinematic icon. In conclusion, France Nyan's cinematic journey is a testament to skill and versatility as an actress. Through iconic roles, memorable quotes, and captivating scenes, she has solidified her place in the history of film. The legacy continues to resonate with audiences, making her a true icon in cinema. Possibly the first person of Vietnamese descent to grace American television, she carved a unique place in the industry. With a film in the National Film Registry, an honor reserved for works deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant, she made her mark in the Joy Luck Club. Her roots trace back to Vietnamese French ancestry, adding a distinctive layer to her career. Born into a family that valued culture and heritage, her journey in the entertainment world began as a captivating exploration of identity. Throughout her career, she navigated the complex landscape of Hollywood with grace and resilience. Breaking new ground, she became an essential figure, not only for her talent, but also for her contribution to the broader narrative of diversity in American media. Her roles resonated with audiences, not just because of her acting prowess, but also because they represented a significant shift in the portrayal of Vietnamese individuals in mainstream media. 
The actress's impact extended beyond the screen. She became a symbol of representation and empowerment for aspiring actors from underrepresented communities. Her legacy is etched in the annals of history as she played a crucial role in paving the way for a more inclusive and vibrant entertainment industry. As we reflect on her career, it's evident that she was more than just a talented actress. She was a trailblazer who embarked on a journey that would influence the trajectory of the film and television landscape. Her achievements continue to resonate, reminding us of the enduring importance of diversity and authentic storytelling in the world of entertainment. In conclusion, France Nine's journey stands as a testament to the evolving nature of Hollywood and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to challenge the status quo. Her contributions have left an intriguing mark on the industry, making her a figure to cherish in the rich tapestry of American entertainment history. Securing a pivotal role in the 1958 film South Pacific, France Nyan's journey into Hollywood began when model agent Candy Jones introduced her to director Joshua Logan, who was in the casting phase for the movie. During the production, Logan initiated discussions with her about involvement in his upcoming project, The World of Susie Wong, slated for release in 1960. Beyond her acting career, Nyan assumed the role of ex-stepmother to Jason Culp, Joseph Culp, Joshua Culp, and Rachel Culp. Her personal life, marked by adversity, took an unexpected turn as she confronted her own experiences of child abuse. In 1986, she earned a master's degree in clinical psychology, redirecting her professional trajectory toward family practice counseling. Specializing in aiding abused children, battered women, and incarcerated women, she embarked on a second career, contributing significantly to the field. In addition to her accomplishments on screen, her resilience and determination extended beyond the entertainment industry. Personal challenges fueled a commitment to making a meaningful impact in the lives of those who had faced adversity. Her transition to clinical psychology showcased dedication to addressing societal issues, particularly in the realms of abuse and family dynamics. As we delve into the various facets of her life, it becomes evident that her contributions extend beyond acting. From the stages of Hollywood to the realms of clinical psychology, she left an indelible mark on both the entertainment industry and the field of mental health. This dual narrative underscores the depth of her impact, showcasing a woman who not only graced the silver screen, but also dedicated herself to fostering positive change in the lives of others. This unique journey serves as a testament to the versatility and resilience of individuals navigating multiple spheres of influence, in conclusion, France Nyan's story is one of multifaceted achievement, with her influence reaching far beyond the glamorous facade of Hollywood. Her journey, from securing iconic roles to affecting change in the field of clinical psychology, remains a compelling narrative of personal triumph and societal contribution, illustrating the profound impact one individual can have on diverse realms. Residing in Beverly Hills, California, France Nyan transitioned from her iconic roles in Hollywood to a career as a psychological counselor. Born to a French mother and Vietnamese father, with French as her first language, Nyan's upbringing in Marseille by a cousin was marked by the wartime persecution of her mother and grandfather as alleged gypsies during World War II. In the early 1960s, her life intersected with the legendary Marlon Brando, known for his affinity towards Asian women. Their brief affair adds a layer of intrigue to her narrative. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, she redirected her trajectory towards clinical psychology, earning a master's degree in 1986. Her commitment extended to aiding abused children, battered women, and incarcerated individuals, showcasing resilience beyond the entertainment industry. Navigating personal challenges, her journey unfolds as a testament to versatility, spanning from securing iconic roles to affecting change in the field of clinical psychology. From the glamour of Hollywood stages to the profound impact on mental health, her narrative is one of personal triumph and societal contribution, exemplifying the significant influence an individual can wield in diverse realms. Securing a pivotal role in the 1958 film South Pacific, she began her Hollywood journey, playing the character of Lyatt in the classic. Notably, the 50th anniversary celebration of the movie did not include her. Transitioning to television, she gained recognition for her role in the third season episode Elan of Troyes, portraying the arrogant Dolman of Ellis. In the realm of film, her noteworthy stint in the Joy Luck Club was marked by discontent as she bitterly complained about her best scene being deleted by Amy Tan. 
Furthermore, she criticized the promotional strategy that sidelined known actresses to draw attention solely to Tan. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, her personal life intersects with Marlon Brando in the early 1960s, adding a layer of intrigue to her narrative. Despite her iconic roles, she redirected her trajectory towards clinical psychology, earning a master's degree in 1986. Her commitment extended to aiding abused children, battered women, and incarcerated individuals, showcasing resilience beyond the entertainment industry. From South Pacific to Ilan of Troyes, her journey is one of diverse roles and transitions, both on and off the screen. This article delves into the lesser-known facets of her career and personal life, emphasizing her versatility and impact. Recipient of the 1989 Woman of the Year Award in Los Angeles, California for her impactful work as a consulting psychologist, France Nyan's influence extended far beyond the Hollywood spotlight. Married and divorced twice, her second husband was Robert Culp, with whom she crossed paths while working on the television series I Spy. Her first marriage was to a psychiatrist, resulting in a daughter named Fleur Morrill. Pronounced when, France Nyan's journey took intriguing turns, reaching beyond the glitz of Hollywood. From her acclaimed roles in South Pacific and Elan of Troyes to the personal intricacies of her marriages, her life unfolded with remarkable depth. However, it was her commitment to addressing societal issues that defined her later years. Transitioning from iconic roles to a career in clinical psychology, she earned a master's degree in 1986. Her dedication focused on aiding abused children and incarcerated women, showcasing resilience that transcended the entertainment industry. The complexities of her personal life, including an affair with Marlon Brando, added layers to her narrative. In conclusion, France Nyan's story is one of versatility and impact, traversing Hollywood stages to the profound realms of clinical psychology. As we explore the lesser-known facets of her life, it becomes evident that her influence reached beyond the glamorous facade of Hollywood, leaving an enduring mark on both entertainment and mental health.